chart. Check this out. When we redecorate, many of us just choose colors that match our couch or comforter. But it's actually a little bit more complicated than we just that. We need to put more thought into yeah, this, they see. The color of a room can affect our mood, our thoughts, our relationships. You may love red, but it's not your best choice for your bedroom. What's wrong with red? Well, we're about to find out for our <laughs> bedroom. I'm thinking, um, I have to ask. <laughs> Interior design expert Karen Beatty Rice can explain that. Red in the bedroom? That red. sounds like red, red. fiery and vibrant. Yes. That's what it is. Red is actually a very physical color. Well, what's wrong so, with it in the bedroom? Karen, well, you know on. what? It, it incites uh, conversation. Ah. It raises blood pressure. It can make you angry if you're not careful. Are you okay. serious? I'm serious because it's such a physical color. So red is wonderful for dining rooms. It's great for kitchens. Um, I say that, it also whets our appetite. Really? And the people in the restaurant industry really know that. Red makes us hungry okay. and makes us want to eat. So it, it um, it's not soothing enough for a bedroom. What about for a den? Uh, for a den? Red's okay, but actually better than red might be more of a russet tone, a little bit of orange. Calms down some of that talking. It calms tendency. you down just a little bit, but it's also a fun, happy color. You don't so, want me talking during the movie, so. Right, no, right. not at all. Maybe but, that's why no. I haven't been invited over to the den. <laughs> what about the kitchen? What's the best color for a kitchen? Well, kitchen, it's interesting. Oftentimes, we prefer our kitchen to be painted or decorated in colors of our youth. So oh. whatever our kitchen was growing up, assuming we had a great youth and we had fond memories of childhood and cooking in the kitchen and eating. We want our kitchen to be those colors. Uh, but, to, but if we don't have a favorite color, reds and yellows work great in a kitchen. Blue and white can work great in a kitchen as well because white is very clean, antiseptic. Mm -hmm. yeah. We want our kitchen to feel clean. Of yeah. course. Uh, what does blue make you feel like? Blue actually is um, color of the intellect. So it's, it's for people who are deep thinkers. Uh, it too I is have no blue in my house. Okay, well, you know what? Realize. Maybe you Neither need some I. blue. Yeah, Maybe you, you, need, you need some blue. We're in trouble. But obviously, <laughs> it depends upon the shade of blue that you use. The okay. deeper it is, the, the more intensity it has, the more serious it becomes. Interesting. The lighter it is, the more carefree it is. Okay. But blue in a kitchen can actually give you a punch of color. How often, though, should we change these colors? Because a lot of us will just typically stick with one color for mm -hmm. almost as long as we might be in that house. And you know what? There's actually nothing wrong with that. Nothing really wrong with that. Color more than any other design element reflects our personality. Okay. okay. So unless your personality is constantly evolving, and for most of us it d really doesn't, it's okay to have a color. Like looking at this picture, what would you say, what is the personality of this person and what would this room do? Well, this is a very neutral room. Uh, it's sedate. It's calming. Okay. Uh, it might reflect someone who's a little apprehensive to use a whole lot of color, but it does have some interesting neutrals. The bluish gray chair in the foreground gives you a little bit of color. The black pillows give you contrast to the white. Yeah. Uh, there are shades of beige, which are somewhat warm, but that's very tranquil. Okay, here we have, about this room. Yes, okay, here we have an uh, example of the red tones mm -hmm. and the yellow used in a dining room. So this is happy, but also festive. Happy. But not, doesn't shout at you. That's exactly right. Happy, festive. Uh, here we have wonderful use of yellow. Yellow and cream in the room. Yellow is uh, the color of optimism. And it's also a very emotional color. It's the color of sunshine. Uh, what here, about this? Here, a very vibrant use of blue. A pool blue in a bedroom. Now, this is not as calming as a cerulean blue might be. Right. Mm -hmm. But in a, in a festive, fun, this looks like a girl's bedroom. It would work. It's beautiful. Here we have Ooh. contrast between the, the green of the walls and the punch of color in the contemporary art. Green is the color of balance. On the color chart, it's, it's midway way between all color so it gives us great balance in a room okay also but it the can color really of nature affect you it's kind of like feng shui on the walls feng very shui much home. so yes awesome i like this a lot you've given what? us a lot to think about i'm going to give you a call please I'm doing do something so wrong I. in most yeah. of my rooms <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right.